Hello, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Bert Squilly, my reptilian. And in today's review, we're gonna talk. We're gonna do the top ten films that I recommend watching. So these are my opinions. So I'm just saying, if you're white, if you're interested in these films, then I do recommend to go watch these films. If you're not interested in watching these films, that's okay. So before we, so let's just get into the video. So kicking off number ten, we've got The Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolf of Wall Street is a very great film, and I do really, and I love this film. Even though this goes for three hours, it's directed by Martin Scorsese. Um, the actors are they have this is ha this have Leonardo DiCaprio and Margot Robbie and lots more. They play such amazing roles, right? And this is also a true story. And also, this film this film came out in twenty thirteen. This was a film that should have won the Oscars. This was a very, very great film. But it was very sad. They didn't make it to the Oscars. And I wanted to see them actually win one. Very sad. Then number nine, we have The Accountant. The Accountant was made in 2016. This has Ben Affleck in it. So Ben Affleck plays this guy who has autism. And um, he's an accountant and an assassin. No, I might actually do that. Not... <laughs> so this film is a very great role. I like how um, Ben Affleck portrays as an autistic guy. He does a very great role. Role. I love the part in his flashbacks as you see the when he was little. Then I like the combat in it. The action was very good. The director did a very good job on showing the film. You know, like telling like it's like like telling the story, and it succeeds. Storyline is very strong. And it's very interesting. Number eight, we got Donnie Darko. If you like mysteries and that makes you scratch your head, Donnie Darko is your main pick. This film is a cult classic. I'm in love with Donnie Darko. And I have to be brutally honest, this is going to be one of my, also, my top ten favourite films. I will do this one day. And I will do reviews, so to come down. So the ending is very, very confusing, alright? I won't tell you, how, I can't explain it, I can't tell you anything in case if you want to watch this film. But this film is very confusing, this leaves you scratch your head. Um, this is also the film that lifts Jake Gyllenhaal up and to, to where he is today. And the director does a very good job of showing the aspects of the world. Amazing role. Thank you, Richard Kelly. <coughs> Number seven, we got Creep 1 and 2. If you like the, if you like found footage horror, Creep is your main choice. Even though the Blair Witch Project is a classic, I never watched it, so I only seen Creep One and Two. All right, so Creep One and Two is a very disturbing film. This film left me chill, bone chilling. This is a very bone chilling film. This led me, or oh, sometimes, the jump scares come literally out of nowhere. So. Like I said, this these films are on Netflix, so check them out if you like, if you have Netflix. And if you don't, that's all good. Number six, the Die Hard films. Even though number five very sucked ass, I can definitely agree it was bad. The Die Hard films, one, two, three, and four, has to be a very, a very great series. Even though five sucked again, still. So, the action is very good, Bruce Willis is very good. Direct is very good. This is a film you should you should watch. I am in love with Bruce Willis, and this is one of his favorite films. So Bruce Willis, if you're watching this, thanks. You're the best. Number five, The Dark Knight trilogy. I know I had to put this in. So this is one of my favorite trilogy films of all time. Even though there's a spark on number one, it's still good here. So basically, the actors are very good. Christian Bale, Heath Ledger, Tom Hardy plays the best roles ever. Even even Alfred, I love this film so much. I was enjoying it. Even though I'm the biggest Batman fan out here, this is one of my favorites. I loved it. The best one out of all of them, in my opinion, is The Dark Knight. That has to be the best. Heath Ledger, man. Plays a great role. Sadly, he passed away. And it was very sad. 
But speaking of Jokers, number four, Joker 2019. This is is another great film. I do say check it out. I seen this in the cinema. This is like one of my favorite films of all time again. And it does show like an origin of the Joker, but even though we have several origins of Joker, we don't know which one to believe. This one look this one is a very interesting tale. Because then if you if you read the comics or heard about this, the Joker always falls into a pit of acid and becomes evil. But Morley but granted this one's morely about showing the insanity of Arthur Fleck and he seemed to drive it to insanity. It's like but Todd Phillips does a very great job showing it like if it was a minor Scorsese film and I do appreciate it. Number three we have Taxi Driver. Yes! Another Minus Scorsese film is on the list. I have to put this in. So this is like another great film. If you like Robert De Niro, this is a film to go check out. Like I said, this is like what Joker was like, but this is a better version of him. And as you see, the main character driving to insanity and all of that. It's a very fascinating, it's a suspenseful film. Go check it out if you like. I love this film. Number two, we have Scarface. Yes, Al Pacino, man. He has to be by far one of his best films of all time. And I have to put that down. I wasn't allowed to watch Scarface, so I had to persuade my mum. She said whatever. So. This film is a very great film. It is interesting. This is one of my favourite Al Pacino films. And I love when he like loses it, loses it as his... As when he's talking to his people, his friends. This is a great film. Go check it out. Scarface is one of my favourites. And before we head to number one, I would like some honourable mentions. The first one will go to seven. If you like cop films with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey, there you go. It is a very disgusting film. It's very gory, but it's still an amazing film to go watch. Next is Apocalypse Now. If you like war films, another great film. This has... Marlon, Marlon Brando, Charlie, uh, Martin Sheen, Lawrence Fishburne, Harrison Ford, lots more. This is a film I would say check out. It is amazing. And last but not least, for honorable mention, Goodfellas. I have to put in another Scorsese film. Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci plays such a great role. Martin Scorsese again does a good role of it. This is also based on another true story. So if you like mob films, I recommend check Goodfellas. And the number one film that I recommend to check out goes to the Godfather trilogy. Yes, yes, yes. Godfather. Even though the third one wasn't was a disappointment to me. One and two is by far the best mafia film to ever exist. Even though Goodfellas is so good. This is a film that has captivated me. And I love this film. Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, man. I loved it. This film has won Oscars 1 and 2, number 3. I don't know. But this is a great film. If you want to see a film like that, I, I will highly say watch this film. This film is a, is a, is a good storyline. The storyline is 100% strong. This is based on the books by Mario Buzzo. And I loved it. And that is it for today's video. I Before I end this video, I want to say my cousin has shouted me out, if you don't know, Annabelle's World. I want to say go check out her channel. She's amazing. Like and subscribe to her. She's my cousin. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.